Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Chrono Trigger. Last time, we entered the Manolia Cathedral where Queen Lean is being held in our first efforts to change history back to how it's meant to be. And we met a very slick young man, Frog. I didn't say creative, I said slick. He's a big help to our party. We got a full trio going, and this time, partway through the cathedral, we're gonna press on and on and on. Now, uh, I need to use these shelters. We're at a save point, we're kind of weak. I think it would just be good to use it at a midpoint. Don't forget that you have these. It's something that I think might not come supernaturally if you're not used to Final Fantasy and games of that sort. Um, I'll, what I think will come naturally though is knowing that if there is a room with a solid row of spikes, you probably need to clear things out in order to deal with it. We go down here and, whoop. Looks like we're gonna just have to deal with this. Okay. That sound came out of that bat? <laughs> nice entrance, buddy. Like I said, I love it when they humanize these enemies. We have an underling and a mad bat. Because the underling has very high magic defense, uh, because the underling has very high defense, but not very high magic defense, I think we'll just kind of save him. Uh, slurp Slash. Grabs it by the tongue, pulls it in, uppercuts it with the sword when they come in range. At least they're cool with using the fact that he's a frog. In fact, uh, Frog's whole character is a really good example of uh, how this started out as a spin-off to the Final Fantasy series. It was called Maru Island. Marl's namesake is a reference to this point in development. Uh, but they decided to make an original IP instead so that they could do wacky, funny stuff that is not in Final Fantasy. And it definitely shows. The humor is on point. You have really crazy stuff like the fact that a party member is just a frog. And besides, he might be a frog, he might be wacky, he might be zany. But he is a cool, wacky, zany dude. Take a look at the X strike, or lowercase L strike as it tends to end up being. <laughs> yeah, it looks really cool when the enemy is in a midpoint between Chrono and Frog, but most of the time it ends up not really looking the way that they intended it to, and I don't know how to feel about that. Frog, how about you get a critical hit? Let's see your animation, come on. No. You dare defy my expectations, you know what I do? I whack him with a hammer and kill steal from you. Be ashamed losing out to Luca's regular attack because you couldn't execute what your main gimmick was. Uh oh, this. That was easy. <laughs> it's even a red button, actually. I didn't do that on purpose. I guess if there's anything else that I want to talk about in battle, uh, we'll go ahead and do a cyclone. Well, uh, now we'll do a fire whirl because this guy's weak to magic. It is the fact that Slurp is based on Frog's magic stat. Frequently, any kind of healing is. Uh, so I guess you could say it scales. Uh, okay. uh, ouch. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, he punched him so hard that he flew back there. <laughs> that was, uh, that's kind of impressive, I have to say. Um, Chrono, you can hit him. Uh, you can flamethrower. And Frog, you can attack, I guess. Not like you'll get a chance to, because Luke is just going to kill still from you all day today. Such a painful way to go. And Frog's victory sprite right there. I want you to look at it for a second. I thought he was holding one of those medieval caps that has like a giant feather plume on it and it was just blue, but it turns out no, he just has a giant earthworm gym bicep that he's flexing. Uh, no entry within. Okay, uh, way to kill my momentum and kill my excitement though. But yeah, I always thought his victory sprite was a hat, but now that it's a bicep, I can't unsee it and it looks so ridiculous. I guess further going in the uh, theme of him being wacky and zany. You know him, the most wacky and zany. Well, actually, yes, in another place, another time, he was. This is a good opportunity to mention how different the script is in the Super Nintendo version. I've alluded to this in the past, but I think Frog is a great example of it. Or possibly even a bad example of it. You saw how he talks kind of heroic. He definitely is a little more over the top in how he speaks compared to Cr uh, Chrono. <laughs> yes, definitely more da more over the top than Chrono. <laughs> Doesn't take much to be that. <laughs> no, compared to Luca. Uh, Luca is a bit more down to earth in how she talks compared to Frog. That much is true, but in the Super Nintendo version, oh my god, just hear some of these lines. Lower thine god and thou art allowing the enemy in. Mayhap a hidden door lurks nigh, let us search the environs! Felicitations, malefactors! I am endeavoring to misappropriate the formulary for the preparation of affordable comestibles! Okay, not that last one, but could you really tell them apart? 
I get that we're in this world's equivalent of medieval times. I understand that he's supposed to be a heroic knightly guy, but no one else, not even the other knights, talk that way. No one does. He's the only one, it's really over the top, and wow, I'm more impressed with you than the other guy who slid down the banister. You teleported and slid down the banister, that's extra cool. But seriously, some people might like it. I'm sure there's a lot of you that only know the super hammy frog and you would have it no other way, and you know, I don't necessarily mind hammy characters. I mean, just, I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't, but I don't know. I don't think it really fits his character all that well, but it's probably because I saw this version of him first. I admit it, I'm a DS baby. Honestly, the other version I think makes it hard to even like tell what he's saying without kind of double taking at the line every now and again. At least it is for me, I don't know. Maybe you didn't have trouble with it, maybe you're used to it. I stand by whatever you grew up is the better answer for which one you should be playing. But if you're a first timer, that's one of the reasons why I recommend this one. Again, I don't hate the Super Nintendo script. I think it's fine, it's serviceable, it is a great version of the game. Without it, this version would not exist. But I think now you can maybe see why I was kind of not so quick to choose it. Uh, I don't need to slurp, uh, slurp slash on those guys. I can just uh, go for a regular attack on the Diablos. I didn't mention it though, but you saw in that last battle that Mad Bats are able to absorb HP. That is their main gimmick that separates them from other enemies. And you know, for being bats, they are surprisingly resilient, more so than these bipedal demon gargoyle kind of guys. I'm just telling everybody that they should be ashamed of themselves because of how well they stack up against somebody else today. I'm being a really big bully. I mean, they killed the queen. I Well, then again, I was kind of like saying that they're wind slash, hello. I don't think we'd be learning that right now. That's another thing that I like about this game a lot is that, wow, new equipment right when I say that. New stuff is pouring in all the time. I don't feel the need to cut battles that much just because every fight we got a new tech to go over, a new enemy to go over, some new scenario we hadn't seen before. There's just always new stuff going on and I love that. It makes every fight feel special and unique. It had to have been a ton of work to do that and you know, I appreciate it. I can't imagine how much work it had to have taken to do this. That's probably why you don't see it that often that there's always something new to make battles exciting, but I just always have new toys that I wanna, I can't wait to get my hands on and play with because it's so, so good to just see everything. If you're that determined to get through by all means. <laughs> Man, uh, I, I got told off by a piece of paper. How often does that happen? Hello guys. Shall we dance? We have some new tools to use. Was that a dual tech? No, it's a single tech. Chrono, wind slash. That's a magic attack. As you see, it did a lot of damage to that enemy with low magic defense. Ouch. <laughs> got, got punched so hard I stopped moving only when I hit a wall. Got two level ups there. And up we go. Unfortunately for you, you were stationed on a narrow bridge when my attacks are proximity based. You guys are going from snakes to stakes. Chopped up and well done. That overed quickly and Luca learned Hypnowipe. See what I mean? Constant. Hypno wave. Oh, I think this one's underrated. You might think, well, it just puts enemies to sleep. It's a status move that doesn't do any damage. Why would I spend a whole turn doing that? It probably doesn't work on anything worthwhile. No, it works on all enemies at the same time. A lot of people I know just never even use this move one time and never give it a chance. Oh, it's good. It doesn't suffer from the problem of only hitting one target and bosses not being weak to it. Some bosses are actually. It keeps large groups of enemies under control, so it's a great utility even. For the effect, it's dirt cheap too, only costing one TP. Uh, here we got a save point. I just healed up not too long ago, so I think I'll, uh, yeah, I think I'll just kind of keep going. No need to heal, we just did. Prepare yourself, Queen Lean. It's time for you to bid farewell to this world. You, how'd you get in here? Frog. <laughs> Flee, your majesty. We shall dispatch this fiend. Be careful. <laughs> There's no use in fighting. None of you will leave this place alive. Intolerable frog. Let's see you hop your way out of this. 
Enough of this Chancellor charade! <laughs> the Chancellor transformed into Yakra. Already made that hopping pun earlier, buddy. You're about as slow as you look. Yakra! If I may attack him right away. Uh, let me attack using Frog, actually. Grog! If you are too far away when you attack, then he will counterattack the entire party. You want to attack when he is physically close to your starting position. Uh, right there! He is pulsating those, um, back zits. When he does this, he uses a needle launching attack on one member of the party after charging it up, and it does a heavy amount of damage. Uh, let me... Okay, let me see if that worked right there. Uh, Luke is gonna shoot there. Okay, that was too far away. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure of that. Uh, this has gotten really bad really fast, so I'm gonna spend a little time healing up. Basically, as long as Frog, or at least not Chrono, is on healing duty, and Chrono is on attacking duty, you're probably doing it right. This would be a good opportunity to use the Wind Slash. I didn't really say it earlier, but Wind Slash can attack enemies in a line, just didn't really have a good opportunity to do it. Uh, maybe Frog, you can Slurp Slash from over there. Yeah, let's try that. Not afraid to use potions, as much as I... What am I What am I doing? It is far away that you don't want to do. It is close. Why did I think Slurp Slash... Uh, okay. Luca, you are right there. Flamethrower, thank you. Okay, good. Too close to counterattack. That's what I want to see. Uh, Luca, you're our attacker. Chrono can heal. Words I never thought I would say. And Frog, uh, go ahead and make things uh, harder on the poor girl. She needs more of a challenge. Uh, not like she has it bad enough in the world lately. Uh, there's the spinning attack. I think actually, where's he going now? Um... Maybe we could have Frog initiate an X-Strike? Yeah, he's really close by. Let's do it. Let's go! Yeah, it actually looks like an X now. Too close to counterattack. Perfect. Exactly what I want to see. And maybe if he's going over to Luca, we could initiate a Fire World. Now, let's just, uh, let's stick with the X-Strike. Probably going to get countered on this one, but I got a lot of health. I can afford it. 181. Grog! Potioning Chrono. And this is getting repetitive. We gotta finish this off. Come on. That is not a word that befits this battle system. Eh, go slurp yourself, frog. Uh, Luca, Chrono, Luca. Okay, Luca, go for Fire Whirl. Fire Whirl might just be the better option uh, as opposed to X Slash, just because I think this guy has pretty weak uh, magical defense. Oh no, X Strike does more, actually. Uh, slurp. Go for a Wind Slash. Fire Whirl. That was pretty weak, actually. I guess it's to be expected that no matter how much you weigh, just jumping up and down, not on an enemy, probably wouldn't do much to them. And there it is! Fifty experience, six hundred G. Thank you, Frog. I knew you'd come to rescue me. His Majesty awaits most anxiously. We should return to the castle. I thank you, Chrono and Luca, for all your aid. And I as well. Please accompany us to the castle. You will be most welcome guests. I have things I need to take care of first. Don't let make me, no, please don't warp me away. Yes, thank you. Good games let you walk around. Opening no chest number one. Uh, ooh, my thanks. That monster stuffed me into the, there like a sack of coin. Uh, muscle stretch, bones break. Uh, oh, your majesty, I am on damage as you can see. Mid ether, first time running into one of those. Ethers are indeed MP heals, uh, but a mid ether restores 30, whereas a regular one only restores 10. Nothing over here, just making absolutely sure. I haven't been quite as much, I haven't been quite as anal retentive about uh, filling in the map on the bottom screen as you would expect. 
As you can see, I'm making up for it by doing it when it's an important moment and the story is pressing. Ooh, my thanks. Oh, you're just saying the same thing. Yes, let us be on our way. You cannot know how I worried, Lean. Yakra, that vile beast, impersonating me and kidnapping the queen. We must institute a stricter criminal justice system in this kingdom to ensure such fiends never threaten the royal family's safety again! I am disgraced. I failed to protect my queen. Frog! I am forever in your debt. Who knows what would have happened to me had you come even a little later than you did. By the way, what became of the girl who was mistaken for me? Oh yeah, I forgot all about Princess Nadia! Chrono, where did the princess disappear? She may be there now! You have my deepest gratitude, Lord Chrono, but I wonder, who then was the girl we found in the canyon? Yakra, that vile beast impersonated me and kidnapped the queen. Oh, pfft. he just repeats this all day, pacing back and forth to himself. It was a very traumatic experience being stuffed in that box. It was my presence here that endangered the queen. I can remain at this castle no more. Chrono, you have the makings of a great swordsman. Maybe frogs aren't so bad after all. Back in the East Tower. Huh? What happened? Princess Nadia! Chrono! It was awful. I was so afraid. I couldn't see or feel anything, but I knew I was someplace cold. I wonder if that's what it's like to die. Your Highness, I... You came to help me too. Wait, Your Highness? Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess you guys figured me out, huh? Sorry, Chrono. I didn't mean to trick you. My name is really Nadia. My father is King Guardia the 33rd. I just wanted to go to the fair and have fun like everyone else. But if you'd known who I really was... You wouldn't have shown me around the fair, would you, Chrono? Oh, Crow! No! This is why I like you! The real queen's safe, right? Let's go home, Chrono. <laughs>